A pretty view looking outside around Dublin over the hills south of Livermore. Look at the sunshine there breaking through some of the low clouds, overcast skies out towards the Tri Valley right now, where we're seeing temperatures in the low 60s. By the way, afternoon highs near 70 degrees. A little bit later on in Dublin, the gray skies were Oakland at 63, and more of those clouds down through the Santa Clara Valley, 63 in San Jose. And obviously, with all the clouds inland, we got clouds in San Francisco with some drizzle still possible this morning, currently at 60 degrees. So we've got cloud cover all through the bay into the inland valleys, even the central valley, seeing some of those low clouds. There's a look at some of the drizzle passing the coast. It's going to be now through about lunchtime. And then during the afternoon, we'll begin to see some of those patches of low clouds break up, but also high clouds, which are going to be drifting by for the day, which will help to kind of filter the sunshine at times moving forward into the afternoon. So morning temperatures mostly in the low 60s. Lunchtime should see numbers still in the 60s around the Bay Area, and you kind of have to look closely to find where the 70s might be popping up later today. That would include Livermore, Fairfield, Morgan Hill, San Martin, and Napa. But uh, notice Santa Rosa here also staying in the mid 60s, so a cool finish to the weekend as we watch temperatures heading back to the work week starting to climb up a little bit. Monday should be back into the upper 70s inland, but noticeable warmer changes as we get towards Tuesday and Wednesday. We've got numbers back in the mid 80s inland on Tuesday in the Tri Valley. But look what's happening here around the bay. Finally, we should see numbers in the 70s as the wind pattern begins to change a bit more like a typical October day. That'll be a bit of a north wind down through the mountains, through the North Bay, and a slight offshore wind. So we could see numbers in the mid to upper 70s from Half Moon Bay into Santa Cruz. The warmest day of the week right now does look to be about Wednesday. And even inland could see those numbers in the uh, upper 80s for midweek. Now, at the same time, approaching the coast will be this weather system Monday and Tuesday. It's going to get our hopes up here because there's some rain offshore, but it's going to stall out and likely just stay off the Southern California coast, giving us some high clouds at times, not expected to have a big impact on temperatures, but perhaps our better chance for showers, we still expect to arrive later in the week around Saturday. But again, as this drops in kind of from the north, best odds for finding some measurable rainfall out of that weekend system for next weekend will likely be for areas north of Sonoma County. And you can kind of see it playing out here in the future cast in terms of that rainfall. Most of that staying up in the North Bay with a chance. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we might manage some showers or maybe even some high elevation snow showers across the northern Sierra north of Interstate 80. So tracking that midweek warm up of 70s around San Francisco and valley temperatures climbing up to on Wednesday and then cooler again as we head towards next weekend. So a little bit of everything there. Yeah. Jackets, short sleeves, keep all them, of it. Keep everything for this week. <laughs> all right, thanks so much. Well,